My gloves are dead, they're gone, they're finished. My racer, beloved racer, high speeds are, are having to be retired. And it's kind of not even their fault either. I've been using these for three years now and everything was still going swimmingly. I mean, if you look at the, you look at the palm here, you can see that these have had a lot of use. I love them to pieces, but look there, see? And it wasn't even the glove. This actually happened on a bike. The Suzuki GSX-S 1000 GX catching on one of the parts of the apparatus that holds the brush guards in, annoyed. And also, look here, there is a, a cut there, which is a reminder to people to not use your race gloves to cut brambles away, because every now and then you can cock up like this. So I've, bug I've buggered these up and I'm very upset about it. No, it's okay. Why? Because I have these, the Lindstrands, Bergby. Are they for me? They are for you. He's happy again! <laughs> what race are high speeds? <laughs>
level of airflow allowed allowed through the glove that should keep you nice and cool and i think they kind of look cool don't they they do look cool obviously we've got your kind of wrist protector on the outside which is adjustable there obviously adjustable and we've got the old yep. do, 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 the old wrist velcro too and then your little flap that goes on there and we have a finger bridge Finger bridge. Not many people like these though, do they? No, I'm not a massive fan, but I think it's just because I'm old school. I used to chop them, but they are there for reasons to prevent finger roll, basically, and finger yes. roll is ouchy. Hmm. Yes. So on my last few sets of gloves that have had these, I have just left it and then just dealt with it, basically. Yeah. It's there for a reason, so you might as well leave it there to do its job. Have you ever had a finger roll? Yeah. One of them chocolate ones. <laughs> So I see you've put your racer glove back on. Mm -hmm. uh, you've had these for three years, haven't you? Yes. And they're obviously bedded in. Like yeah. That. Oh, yeah. So give us a like a comparison between the okay. new. Well, the only real because uh, these these are brand new, so they haven't had three years use. So the only no. real comparison I can give is initial comfort. So when I first wore these, quite stiff at first. Needed to bed them in. Oh, I found that because I I've got a pair of these. As you well, do. Yeah. I was just like, oh, I don't know if they were too small, but now they're bedded in. They're fine. They're fine. Yeah, yeah. And don't get me wrong, there's part of me that actually likes that. If I buy a pair of gloves that's like, Gah! at the start, then my brain tells me, oh, these are really protective. This, this blinking thing, this is brand new. This has come out of a packet. I can't believe this is level two. I know these guys, Lindstrands, you know, they're, they're part of the Halverson's group and stuff like that. And it's, was it safety? Safety through comfort. Safety through comfort. Yes. And these are like the safest gloves you can buy according to the testing and, and the certification and all the rest of it. And they're comfortable right off the off. Well, I can, I can feel, and these aren't even my, my size. And talking about sizes, what size do these come in? Oh, uh, these come in sizes medium to 4XL in these colours only. Sorry, segue, quick segue there to a little bit of useful information. But yeah, can you see how? Yeah. Because normally fingers are a little bit stiff and everything, but by the same token, I can feel how much th thicker, I mean, I mean, it might not look it, but I can tell how much thicker these are than these. So that's all the reinforcement, it's the high art, it's everything that's that's in here. It's I can Joey tell, but- the Joey and the Billy. The Joey and the Billy. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually pretty blown. I'm actually pretty blown away Well, I'm these. glad it's put a smile on your face because you, you were pretty depressed at, at these. Well, it's like saying goodbye to an old friend, isn't it? You know, or two old or two old friends in this case. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to miss them, but I'm going to enjoy putting these through their paces. And uh, see, we'll see when we get to, if, if we get to three years and these look as good as, well, they're going to be dirty, obviously, but as good as these condition wise, and you don't go on a particular motorcycle that does that to your bike, uh, to your glove, then I'd say these are a, roar, a rip roaring success. But right off from the off, I mean, that is unbelievable. It's a thumbs up. It's a th hey, it's comfy. So um, if anyone wants to know more about these bad boys, where do they go? Well, that'll be bikeheads.co.uk.